गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू वन ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ प्लांट एंड व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज किचन ऑफ द प्लांट इज कॉल्ड लीफ सो स्टूडेंट्स ऑल प्लांट्स हैव लीव्स एंड देयर आर डिफरेंट लीव्स फॉर डिफरेंट प्लांट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट लीव्स Some leaves like grass, bamboo are narrow, and some are oval, just like lemon, and some circular. Example is water lily, and some oblong means banana, and some have a tapering leaf, just like people, and some have serrated like saw edges, just like neem, china rose. and so on in fact you can think of nice a plant by its leaves right so what are the different parts of leaf the leaves of different plant plants may look different but most leaves have a few things in common they have a flat and green leaf blade and this is known as what lamina they also have a stalk which is known as petiole and point of attachment to them is called lipes look at the plant here right this is lipes this is petiole and this part is known as lamina like and this is known as what this region is known as midrib okay this is midrib like so thin linear structure which are called bands arise from the petiole and the midrib these run across the leaf in various directions see you take this is the midrib position right this is midrib and these are the bands they this arising from the midribs and run all over the plant all over the leaf right they provide support to the leaf and transport water minerals and food to and from the leaf right okay so water is being captured by the roots and water is transported by a xylem to the leaves when it reaches the base of the leaves then it goes to mid leaves then by a bands it goes to different parts of the cell okay similarly when food is prepared it is also translocated to all parts of the plants due to bands so students see <coughs> you might have tear different types of leaf if you tear some type of leaves just like banana suppose you tear in this position okay then automatically it will directly come to this position okay it will the tear will move Along a straight line, but if you take people type leaf, if you tear it, it will not come regular. It may come like this. Okay, in which direction you are going to tear, it will not come in this direction. It will be tear in other any directions. So, basing on the arrangements of the hands, okay. Leaves are two types. In some leaves you will find some parallel variations, and some you will find some irregular variations. Take the example of banana. Okay, here from the mid leaves the bands move parallel to the part of the flower. So here this case is known as what parallel variation. But in case of people leaf, the bands moves. Overlapping on one another. Okay, they do not move parallel. They form chains, right? So this type of variation is known as what? Reticular variations, right? <coughs> so best example for variation banana and best example reticular variation is people. Let us come to simple leaves and compound leaves. The leaf blade of some leaves like neem. Gulmohar and tamari or chewing wood is divided into leaflets. Such leaves 
are known as compound leaves. A leaf is said to be simple on the other hand when it is a single leaf plant. Like those banyan people and so on. Okay. So, how many of you, whether you are looking at a single leaf or the leaflet of a compound leaf, right? So, all of you have seen the leaves of tamarind and also of people. So, first one is compound leaf and other one is single leaf, right? Let us discuss about the function of leaf. And you are very aware about this. And what does the leaf does? Okay. So, as it is the kitchen of the plants, food is prepared here in leaves, utilizing water and mineral structure for the roots and carbon dioxide, which is entered through the stomata. And this process is happen in presence of sunlight. Right. So, finally, by the utilization of carbon dioxide and water, okay, in presence of chlorophyll. Just like, see, this is CO2 and this is water, and which responsible for absorbing heat radiation or heat, this is known as what? Chlorophyll, right? Sunlight, it will absorb sunlight. And finally, you will get glucose. And oxygen will be the end product. It will be released to the atmosphere. So, this is about the function of leaf. Right? <coughs> also, leaves, sir, leaves have also some modifications. Okay, so basically the function of leaves are normally around the following types manufacturing of food and interchanging of gases with air and throwing water vapors. So, due to transpiration, due to the process of transpiration, water vapor is thrown out to the atmosphere. Some leaves are modified to perform other functions also. You can have you can you have already learned that in cacti the leaves are modified into spines to prevent the loss of water. Spine means leaves in the form of needles, like okay. The scales of the leaves, ginger are modified to protect buds, and these are still other modification of the leaves. And some leaves provide support in some plants like pea plants and masur and glory leaf either the entire leaf or a part of the leaf is modified into a tendril right and what does, what does it do it supports the plant to okay climb with the support like stem tendrils leaf tendrils and themselves around a support and help the plant to climb. Okay, then some leaves are there that depend. Depend means the spines of cacti do not only prevent the loss of water but also the discharge animals from eating the plants. So, it depends on the plant. Prickly pear, cactus, dead palm, dagger plants and prickly poppy are some plants whose leaves are modified into spines for defense, right? Also, in rose plants, some spines are there which are also the modified form of the leaves, okay? So, the, this something about the leaves of the plants, okay? Let us come to flower. <coughs> so, students, flower is one of the important part of the plant and it is also known as the reproductive part of the plant. Okay. So, let us take a flower and it is better to take hibiscus, right? 
Sí. Rub out on your fingers is known as pollen, which contains in the anthar. 
the flask like structure of the center of the flower attached to the stalk with a solid tips and this is known as what carpel right this region is carpel and combinedly it is known as what gyrosium and one or more of the carpels form the female part of the flower or the pistil the solen base which you cut open is the ovary the stalk is the style and the bullet tip is the stigma when you cut open the ovary you may have noticed some tiny egg like structures which are the female organs and these are known as ovules and these are necessary for the process of fertilization if you examine the flower carefully you have you would have noticed that sepal petals stamens grow out of the thalamus in a circles the outermost circle is formed by the sepals then some of the plants then the stamens and the right at the center of pistil thus the flower has four portals any circular arrangements of leaves petals sepals etc around a common axis is called a orb however the flowers do not have the four orbs sometimes the sepal petals together form tepals in a tuber rows and some flowers have only one stamens while others have only carpels even when all the holes are present in different flowers may have different structure for example sepals may be free or joined some flowers have separate separate sepals and some are joined similarly the petals may be free or joined the petals may be of different sizes age in pea plants the stamens and carpel may also be free or joined right so these are something about flowers so this chapter is completed about flowering plants in the next class we will discuss the questions sir thank you have a nice day